first step of using the Yi Studio is to import your video, which is what I'm going to do. I'm choosing a video that's only 34 seconds long, so the import process is really fast. Now, if you're importing several hours of video, the process might take a while, depending on your computer as well. Now, as you can see, we can move around in the image. And if you are importing more than one video, you can choose to batch stitch, which basically means that the stitching process is going to continue all the way down the list of videos. But since we only have one video, we're just going to use single stitch. To the right, you can choose the resolution. I'm going to choose the best one because regardless of what I do, my video file is not going to be that large because the video is really short. I'm going to choose the best video quality. And then you can choose between optical flow and normal in the stitch mode section. Now, optical flow basically means that the stitching process looks at each individual pixel in, in an image and thereby stitching them together, which, would ultimate, which will ultimately mean that lines like these will disappear, rendering the image completely seamless. The stitch IES entails stabilizing the two recordings you have captured from your video. This is mostly relevant if you are capturing video while moving or on a bicycle or walking or something similar. At the bottom here you can crop the video at both ends. And of course you can play the video in here. Unfortunately if I do that my computer is going to start bouncing and it's going to be difficult to see anything. You can also move forward in the video and you can choose the different view modes available in here. This one we are looking at is called pan Panoramics View. You can move on to the little planet view and the round view. And the last one being the stretched view. Now, if you click stitch while you are in the little planet view, this is what your video is going to look like. And to me, this is super confusing. So I'm just going to go all the way back to panoramics view. The last step is to click stitch and save your video. Once the stitching is completed, the program is automatically going to send you to the play section. Here you can play the video and fast forward, you can crop the video length, and you can view the video in the four view modes available. Most importantly, you can see at the bottom of the video that the stitching has become seamless where the lines were pretty clear before, now you don't notice them anymore. And this leads us on to the last part of the program called Edit. The last part of the program enables you to edit your stitched video and you begin by importing the video. At the top you can view the video, you can press play and forward, you can take screenshots and by dragging the yellow lines down here you can also crop the video length both at the beginning and at the end. To the left, you're going to see a list of all the videos you have imported to the edit section. One thing that's unique in this program is that you can add a keyframe and alter the perspective of the video. Now you see it's just moving back to the default settings, which you see over here. Now, right now we're viewing the video in a panoramics view, which you see down here to the left. I'm going to add a second keyframe. Just to demonstrate. Now I want the second keyframe to move into a round view. You also see the video at the top, it's moving back out to a round view. Just going to make sure this one is in a panoramics, which it is. Now, once I click play, this is going to jump a lot because 
like I told you before, the vid my computer is not very fast, so that's my fault. It's not the program's fault. Normally, this the video would go back to a panoramic view, but because my cam because my computer is so slow, it's not going to jump back. Hopefully, you'll see it now. Yep. Keep in mind that the edit section that we're in now is not a necessary tool for you to use. If you only want to stitch your videos together, you're fine in the first section. This part of the program is just a bonus. Now, my last part is to click export, which would save the changes I have made in the video. <laughs> 